pulsars are what's left over after a massive star uh, collapses at the end of its lifetime. So a massive star is a star maybe 10 times the size of the sun, and or maybe even more, maybe even 20 or 30. We're not exactly sure it, when uh, these uh, barriers break down and when it becomes a neutron star, when it becomes a black hole. The massive star, much bigger than our sun, will explode as a supernova, and in the, the center of the star collapses to become a neutron star. And uh, as all the other material around it moves away at very, very high rates of speed for the supernova, the star itself, the neutron star, is spinning very, very rapidly. And uh, there's a magnetic field that was in the original star that gets compressed um, and gets frozen into that surface of the neutron star. So now you have a strong spinning magnet, basically, in space. And whenever you move a magnet, um, you accelerate particles. And so you create an, an electric field, and those particles can move very, very rapidly. And, and in the case of a neutron star, you can move particles at relativistic speeds, very near the speed of light, and that causes all sorts of radiation to be generated. And we're not exactly sure exactly the details of how the radiation is created. But what normally happens on most pulsars is you get radio waves that come out of the magnetic poles of the neutron star. And because these things are spinning, and because the magnetic poles don't happen to be aligned with the rotation axis, just like on Earth, how we have the magnetic north pole does not line up with the rotational north pole, um, if that beam of radio waves passes over, happens to pass by the Earth through our line of sight, we see pulses of radio waves. And the thing is that some pulsars, if they're very energetic, which could be the youngest pulsars or those that are spinning most rapidly, they can also give off optical light, um, X-rays, or and now um, we know of a lot of pulsars now that are even giving off up to gamma rays. So there's all sorts of radiation that can be given off by these objects, but in all cases, because of this sweeping of this lighthouse-type beam across um, our line of sight, we see pulses of radiation, and that's why we call them pulsars.